Hey, it's a great morning here in Central California, and it's time for another update on my series, The Archives of Asink Ran. There are two pieces of information I'd like to share with you this week, but before I begin, I try to come out with new vlogs and content videos every week, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Good morning and welcome to the first vlog of November. Before I get started with this weekend's topics, this video is sponsored by the Fresno Guild of Extra Life. Extra Life is a nonprofit organization where members participate in video gaming marathons to raise money for charitable events. The Fresno Guild specifically supports Valley Children's Hospital of San Joaquin Valley. They currently have a marathon going on today, so click on the link in the description and log in to support them supporting Valley Children's. Last week I reported that I had started combing through the interior proof for book four. An interior proof is a PDF document that resembles what the interior of the book is going to look like. The best way I can describe the process is like referring to it as a third round of editing. I'm going through reading it chapter by chapter, making sure that the format looks good, that the content is grammatically correct, and this also involves the story as well as the additional pages that go into the manuscript, like the about the author section or the legal page you see at the front of the book. This is a fine-tuning process to make sure the aesthetic of the book fits what's already been done with the previous titles. So last weekend during Halloween Comic Fest, I had a fan ask me about the vampires on my series. I love this kind of stuff. The vampires in my series call themselves Upirshi in their own language. They're introduced about a third of the way through book one, and they are the central focus of book three. They are very much styled like the more traditional Carpathian vampires, like you would see in the movies. They're very human, or elf-like in appearance. They drink blood for food, they are predatory, and most important for me, they don't bloody sparkle. But the twist is that their race isn't very old and they have direct ties back to the elves and the dragons in the series. In book three, I took inspiration from the Jewish diaspora, Jews living outside of Israel during the first century AD because the vampires are dying out and are in desperate need of restoration and divine intervention. It's also an homage to Bram Stoker's Dracula because I loved that book when I read it in middle school. But I also try to take the vampires in a different direction playing off that elf-dragon connection, which is threaded throughout the series. So that's it for this weekend. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at GKJ underscore publishing using the hashtag Five Kingdoms. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube, and make sure to click the bell for new videos.